Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Today we're going to decide which is better. Should you get the transfer switch or an inlet box? This is the 50 amp inlet box. Remember, you can get, you can get the 50 amp or the 30 amp when it comes to inlet box. On the transfer switch, you can get the 10 circuit, 8 circuit, 6 circuit. Some of them even get smaller. But the main thing we're going to decide today is I'm going to show you the difference between going with a transfer switch or an inlet box. Let's start with the inlet box. That's the easiest one. The transfer switch, there's so much you can do with the transfer switch. You can do 120 volts individual, or you see like this right here, where you have two red, you can actually clip this two together and do 240 volts circuits. So before we get this one, I'm going to do the inlet box and show you exactly what you can do if you decide to go this route. Pros and cons. My first pro with the inlet box is you get to power your entire home, meaning everything, every plug in the home gets to be powered. Transfer switch, you have to select what circuit you want to be powered. So you're not going to get the option of every switch with, the, with this one right here, every plug in your home is going to be powered. With this guy over here, the transfer switch, you get to select 10, 10 circuits. So this might be like the master bedroom, kitchen, the guest restroom. You know, you have to select what you want to uh, work. Another thing with this is you don't get the option of setting your home up in the, in the case of a power outage. Let's say, you know, they said, hey, we're going to have a brownout at 4, 4 p.m. The lights are going to go out at 4 p.m. You have to physically come here, plug your generator in, go through your lockout before you can get power to this thing right here. Shut your main off. There's a, there's a procedure you have to go through before you do the inlet box. On the other hand, the transfer switch, you can actually hook it up, and if the power goes off, you get to use what's called automatic transfer switches, all right? So this will actually start your generator, get everything running for you. In the event you're not home, let's say you have an entrance gate like me. Before you come into your property, you have to open a gate that's powered by power. Your garage doors, all this needs power, right? So if the power goes off while you're out and you come home with the inlet box, more than likely, you're not going to have any power. You're going to be stuck outside. You have to figure out a way to get in, turn your generator on to open up your main gate. With this guy right here, once the power goes off, it would automatically use transfer switches. And I have this transfer switch. Most of you guys ask me what brand this is. This was sent to me by a, a different. This is the brand. If you guys want to look it up on Google, type this in, search it. This is Westinghouse ST switch. So this is also an automatic transfer switch. And see right here, smart portable automatic transfer switch. This only works with Westinghouse brand. So don't try to buy this and try to hook it up to the Gen Max or the Duramax. It's not going to work. This will work with Westinghouse brand. Don't buy this and try to return it because it's not going to work with it's going to work only with Westinghouse brand generators that has the ATS plug. All right, let's get back on track. So Pro, you can set it up. It will automatically transfer the power, get everything running. This one, you have to physically hook everything up and shut off your main, do your lockout, all that stuff before you get power. But everything is powered. You only have 10 circuits with this one. Next thing I want to look at are these portable power station. I have the Blue Eddy, EcoFlow, All Power, Okitel, and the Ace Volt. So when it comes to this, guys, the 30 amp, this one has a 120 volt plugs, does not have a 30 amp. This one has the same thing, 120 volt plugs. You have to use adapters. So all these adapters, will help you connect to the transfer switch because they only have 120 volt. The 
perfect for the transfer switch with the adapter. Like this one right here, you'd get your this, it would plug into here, get an extension cord, plug into here, you can use your small transfer switches. And the best thing about that is when you use the, the portable power station with the adapter, I have power coming out right here. I just hook this up to my power station. And then when the power goes off, it automatically transfers the power from the box to this. So that's why I like transfer switches. You have so much you can do from ATS boxes, portable power stations, all those stuff can automatically transfer power in the event that you lose power while you're out or while you're home and you don't want to come outside and mess with it. You just want it to transfer back and forth. You don't want to mess with it. Then you'll go with this guy right here. If you want everything power, you go with this one, inlet box. Let me show you some of the generators I would choose to go with my inlet box. The Gen Max 7250, Predator 9500, the Duramax 9000, the Gen Max 9000, and the Westinghouse 28000. Okay, when it comes to this side here, see this one and that one, they both have 50 amp plug. Perfect for the 50 amp inlet box because they have a 50 amp plug. It just bolts right on, no adapters, nothing. This guy right here also have a 50 amp plug. Perfect for a 50 amp inlet box. The Duramax and the Predator, they have the 30 amp plug. Works perfect with the 30 amp inlet box. Also this one, this one will work also with the transfer switch and the inlet box, 30 amp inlet box, whichever you want. And the reason I said the transfer switch and the 30 amp inlet box is because this generator has an ATS plug. So if you can get the ATS to work with this, it, it will work perfectly with your transfer switch because in the event that the power goes off, this thing's gonna turn on. The Gen Max over here, I've showed you this in another video. If you wanna check it out, check out the link, check out how the ATS works with this thing. Dual fuel, 50 amp plug. So this right here also has the ATS. So guys, if you're looking for something that can work perfect with ATS and it works perfect with the transfer switch or the inlet box, give this guy a look. Gen Max 7250. Even something as small as this, the Honda 1000, using this plug, it will plug into your transfer switch plug into your small 1000 watt generator. It doesn't matter what, how big it is. It will still work. All right. All these adapters will help you work. If you have a 50 amp and you have a 50 amp plug, this will work with your 30 amp inlet box. Another thing I want to show you guys when it comes to the 30 amp inlet box or the 50 amp inlet box, the transfer switch you and the 30 amp inlet box uses the same cord. This is it right here. So, the 50 amp plug uses its own plug. You can see what it looks like. And 50 amp plug. And look at the size difference of these cables. You can see them side by side. It's like almost twice the size from the 50 amp to the 30 amp plug. I have another cable I want to show you guys. I've showed you guys this before on the transfer switch. You can actually hook this up in your transfer switch. And you can plug not one, but two generators or portable inverter generators with this cable to your transfer switch. So as you can see, when it comes to the transfer switch, you have so much choices, so many different choices. When it comes to the transfer switch, you could do ATS, you could do backup power station. You could use portable power station. It has the ability to turn itself on when the power goes off. You won't lose power. With the inlet box, you have power to the entire home. You can run your AC, heater, everything, but you have to get up and set it up. 
which one do I prefer? As you can see, I have both. You can hook both. You can do the inlet box and the transfer switch. I actually have a system that I've been running for almost 13 years. And well, it's 14 years. I've been running this system for 14 years and it powers all these 10 circuits all the time. And it charges on solar and wind. I'll give you guys a quick peek. That's my system. You can see the batteries are down here, capacitors, inverter, solar controller, wind controller, wind control. It's a clipper, controls the wind turbine. So that powers my transfer switch 24 seven. One of the most important thing we have to uh, pay attention to when we're doing a transfer switch versus an inlet box is the grounding. If you're using a transfer switch, you can use a bounded inverter generator, whatever, it, it's fine. It can be bounded. If you're using an inlet box, it has to be a floating as per code. That's where you get into the, uh, should I use a bounded generator or a floating neutral generator? That's the difference. Inlet box, floating, bounded, okay? That's another thing you guys have to uh, differentiate to. If you're going back and forth between the transfer switch and the inlet box, then I understand it's kind of hard. I am going to be doing a special mod to one of my generators, and that video should be coming up soon. Keep, a, keep an eye on it. You guys will know exactly what I'm talking about when you see it, for those of you who watch my channel all the time. But uh, stay tuned for that. But floating neutral versus bonded neutral, I'm going to be doing a video about that as well. But I just want to show you guys which one has to be bonded, floating. Transfer switch versus inlet box. Guys, I hope this video just gives you a small insight. If you have any questions, you know, and another thing I have to tell you guys is I got my website up and running. I'll put a quick link to my website. Anything you see on my channel, all the generators I review, all these generators, anything you see on my channel, hit me up. You want me to post it? You want to uh, buy it? You want to find one? You want to find a generator? GenMax. I do say I'm, I'm going to be selling Gen Max, new Gen Max, and uh, refurbished Gen Max in my shop and on my website. Guys, take a look at the website. Call me. We can also set up a consultation. If you guys want to call me and set up a consultation, I will be doing those too. So all that will be on my website. Guys, please check it out. Support the channel. And... It's awesome. I know it took some time. You guys have been asking me when my website going to be up. It's finally going to be ready. So um, that's awesome. So anything you see on my website, anything you see on my channel, you want to get a hold of one, contact me. And if some of you vendors want to sell on my channel, contact me as well so we can work that out. Okay, guys. Transfer switch, inlet box. Which one's best for you? I hope this guy's I hope this gave you a little insight and it didn't confuse you more because there's so much you can do with the transfer switch versus the inlet box. Guys, thanks for watching this quick video. I just wanted to show you just a little insight of the, of the verses like transfer switch versus inlet box. I hope it helped. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.